Sorry, typical, I forgot the microphone again. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to, I'm smiling because I gotta thank Fake Sagan. Um, you, you let me, you let me, you know, finish with this um, war in the proper way. I mean, now victory feels complete and it's so satisfying. Um, I've been, I've been getting my ass kicked my whole life because I've always been attacking power. And, uh, you know, usually power actually has power. And what you made obvious is sometimes power doesn't have any power. It's, it's empty. It's nothing. And, uh, but anyway, I, you know, it's, um, <clears throat> like, a, I'm sorry, sorry. I, I'm, I am, I'm really lost in a little bit of an afterglow here. Uh, because, uh, you know, I mean, Amazing Atheist slipped and fell down. I mean, it, you know, it just didn't feel like victory. This is victory. I mean, this was, I mean, it was perfect. And so I, I might take 10 videos because it was just, it was just perfect. All right, well, so let's look again. First, first, it was my accusation that this was a crew, right? These, these four monsters of the apocalypse and uh, oh no not a crew not a crew not a crew not a crew and here they are playing each other's videos for each other I mean so I'm McCarthy because a guy gets up and says yes I'm a communist you motherfucker and I want to overthrow the government and kill all of you people I mean he's basically just you know I mean can you more endorse each other than to play each other's videos for each other so that argument is lost I win end of that story um, and well of course they're the best and the brightest he called uh, hard drive and um, you know Freddie from the Bronx the best and the brightest I mean on YouTube um, yeah I don't, I don't not quite yeah, just a little bit short of that you know a little little bit short I mean there's that comedy guy from England I mean have you heard him the atheist gotta be the most I mean, Jesus, every video, you know, right on, uh, beautifully eloquent. And then even, even that's a funny thing, you know, I, I complimented Fake Sagan on one video, one, um, in the three months I've been on YouTube, because usually he was just ragging on somebody, pointless crap, because he actually spoke eloquently on the subject of evolution and uh, the problems of, of our... Um, that we're facing going into the future and uh, you know he said it really well and uh, it's just very funny that uh, you know these guys are almost like the little, the, the, the little, little yellow bus you know and, and uh, one of them's an idiot servant because he was actually brilliant and let's not forget I've I've said it more than once that uh, you know the amazing atheist has moments that are just perfect. I mean, he's really um, uh, entertaining, but that's different than being useful. Um, so anyway, let's, I mean, useful in a, in a you know, real world sense. I'm not saying entertainment isn't valuable. And that was kind of the funny thing. The, you know, he uses one of my best clips, I thought. I mean, my, my you know, my little Mr. Ed routine. I, I thought that was pretty funny. And so I was almost flattered that he would start the video with that because that just says, yeah, this guy's funny. He can, he can, he's, he's dark, he's, he's sad and dark and, and scared and all this other crap. But he can be funny. He's got a sense of humor. He's not just wallowing in it. Uh, you know, so that was thank you um, all right and so then the, the typical line that comes out of these guys every single one of them I mean just pretend that yeah I've you know I'm playing you know some some music like you know that feel-good song and then they're I going into now I don't know something some bit where I, I take clips from all four of their videos where they say I'm going to ignore this guy I'm going to ignore this guy I'm going to ignore this guy and they all have to somehow unignore me 
uh, you know, it's good, very funny. So I, I love that, you know, that he's starting in the beginning too, that, you know, he, he just, he's going to ignore me. Oh, all of a sudden now he has to panic, you know, just a desperate panic. I gotta get, oh, I just saw a fucking goddamn the amazing atheist just slipped on his piss. I better get that goddamn thing. <laughs> you know, he's like, he trips over him or something. I mean, it's just something silly and he falls right into my fist. I mean, it was just, you know, it was just so funny. Um, so, uh, let's see, uh, gee, you know, I always got, I got to make better notes, you know, I did, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not griping about it, but, you know, I had a stroke, and, you know, I don't write as well as I used to, and so I can't read my own writing half the time now, and so it's, it's pretty, um, irritating, um, unglued something, something, well, okay, I don't know what that note, note meant, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what this next one is, that's really irritating, Oh, scary and gloomy. I don't know, something like that. And so that's a that's a vice, you know, to, to be gloomy. You can't be gloomy. Gloominess? No, that's you know, kill the gloomy. Uh, okay. Um, <sighs> sorry, I really am just you know. Um, okay, so let's get to the, the real, the only meat of the argument. Is that uh, you know I I, I made the, the disgusting horrible remark that freedom is a threat to order. Now I suppose we all know that, don't we? I mean, realistically, if you gave everybody the freedom to do whatever they wanted, that that would be a real threat to order. Uh, you know, I mean, we'd all have to have moats around our houses, and you know, you'd have to have your daughters on you know chains and. You know, you should just be, you know, you have to put them in the tower, you know, 600 miles up in the air so all the evil couldn't get to them. Uh, so, you know, let's just get realistic. And in my, the context of my remark is that, yes, in the future it's going to get a little complicated because technology makes it possible for people to turn airplanes into bombs and fertilizer into bombs and that somebody might do something you know, with, with, you know, like I said, we've got, we got laser beams inside of our goddamn DVD players. I won't go through the list of things that are going to take place in the future. They're taking place right now. The, you know, the government is sanctioning things. I won't even say, because if I say, then I'm going to make it easier for somebody to do something. But I'm telling you, there are vulnerabilities out there, and no one's paying any attention. I'm talking about 10 million dead vulnerabilities. And somebody ought to take that a little bit seriously. I mean, it's a little bit serious. Um, and these are the guys. You know, these are the guys, right? They're just full of themselves. They're the guys. And uh, a serious subject like that, they just piss on it. It doesn't mean anything to them. Because I'm Joseph Stalin. I mean, is that, is that a good enough argument for you? I'm Joseph Stalin. Does that do it for you? That's all you got to hear? I'm Joseph Stalin, and you can put it all away, and you don't have to worry about it anymore? Oof. Um, okay, so... Alright, so let's get... Oh, okay, again, so, alright, so he made a big, big deal out of the fact that I, yes, I said he made an intelligent remark. Okay? It was brilliant, and so I said that. And I was wrong to imply that because, yes, he could make figures out of chewing gum. He, he was smart in other ways, too. I mean, he is an idiot servant. Apparently, he can be really, <clears throat> uh, he can understand evolution, but apparently he can't understand anything else on the face of the earth. And that was my mistake. You know, I saw the, the guy <clears throat> do something brilliant, and I came to the wrong conclusion. And so, I was wrong. You're an idiot, and uh, if that's what you prefer to be called, that's what I'll call you. Um, <clears throat> so, and then the rim job thing. Uh, yeah, well, see, I'm I'm really not in the business. I didn't I didn't compliment you because uh, I needed to kiss somebody's ass. I I did it as a honorable, normal person does it because you said something brilliant. I mean, I, you know, I, I, things that come out of my mouth, you know, they're not manipulated and contrived for some kind of ulterior purpose, okay? They're merely thoughts and ideas that exist in my head that have no agenda. 
Um, so you want to make something of it? Make something of it. Yes. You know, <laughs> just stupid. <clears throat>